No word yet on whether today's rain will affect this weekend's Buck Days Junior Parade. It is scheduled for tomorrow morning at 11 along Shoreline. Now, dozens of local schools and groups are expected to participate. The Buck Day CEO says he'll meet with emergency services and the National Weather Service later this afternoon, and a decision will be made then. In the meantime, the carnival is scheduled to operate during normal hours today from 5 to midnight. And of course, Mac has been talking about the severe weather for a few days now, and oftentimes you might hear him give the warning to steer clear of flooded roads, for your own safety. Also, driving through flooded areas can lead to costly car repairs. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez joins us live. He is out in the Cal Allen area this morning. And uh, Roland, give us an idea of what things look like out there and talk to us about what to keep in mind if we have to drive in heavy rain. Hmm. Hi, right, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. Right now, the rain is starting to come down lightly. It was a lot heavier in town as I drove from Corpus through on 37 to Cattle Island. We had, I did have some spots that were pretty heavy, but once I got into the Cattle Island area, a very light drizzle. As we talked about, yeah, flash flooding is very common here in South Texas, and that's why we cannot, cannot take it lightly. Even if the water isn't over the car's bumper, it's possible for water to be sucked into the engine's intake and stall or even destroy the engine. Some of the cars have the air intake down behind the bottom of the front of the front bumper. And when you're going through deep water, it'll actually act like a vacuum cleaner and suck it up in there. And when it does, that's where you stand a chance of ruining the motor. Keep in mind, even if you made it through the water, get your car checked out sooner rather than later. And if you were stalled out by high water, do not try to restart the car. From the mechanical side of it, when you get water inside of an engine, water does not compress. And when it hits the inside of a motor, the motor's trying to turn you over. And this is why I say, if you get it, if it dies, don't try to restart it. Because if you try to restart it, it bends connecting rods, motor's gone, average price 4000 plus on a newer vehicle. Simply put, if you're on the road and the water looks to be six inches or deeper, turn your car around. Common sense more than anything else. And like I said, just use the fire hydrants as a gauge to the water depth. Because the fire hydrants are about three feet tall. They're a little under it. And if you see it towards halfway up on a fire hydrant, you got no business driving in that street. Also keep in mind that high waters could also damage your transmission, your wheel bearings, also your electrical system. And not only that, as the motor gets wet and the engine gets wet, that can cause your belts to slip off your engine. So again, if, if you all possible, avoid the high waters. Now let's head back to Mac and check in with our morning weather. Mac.